So when we take you to Lake and Sumter, we're talking about impacts being seen between Wednesday and Friday, folks. So we could see wind gusts like Troy was just mentioning anywhere between 39 and up to 75 miles per hour in Lake as well as Sumter County. Six to 10 inches of uh, rainfall could cause some major flooding out there as well as multiple tornado warnings. We are going to be in that kind of environment where we'll start to hear a lot of those warnings start to go off as the event really uh, drag goes into um, basically the next couple of days. So we're looking up to winds gusts in uh, Marion County up to 74 miles per hour. Rain 6 to 10 inches because you are on that closer side to the west coast. It could cause some flooding and again multiple tornado potential there as well. Orange and Seminole County Wednesday through Friday wind gusts up to near 73 miles per hour. Rain anywhere between 4 and 6 inches with a brief tornado quite possible. And then as we take you into Osceola County uh, up to 73 mile per hour wind gusts, possibly even going a little bit higher than that, being that it is under a hurricane warning. At this point, tropical downpours are definitely uh, in the mix as well. And then, of course, some more tornado warnings are quite possible. I'm not saying they're going to be back to back to back to back, but definitely be prepared with a place in your home that is safe to go in the event that you are under a tornado warning. When we talk about the coastline, okay, this is where we're going to see some differences. Northern Volusia going into Flagler County could see anywhere between 6 and 10 inches of rainfall that could cause some really big flooding. In addition to the storm surge potential in Flagler County, that is going to be an issue. They're under a storm, sur storm surge watch as of right now. Looking at the rest of the coastline, we're talking about anywhere between four and six inches of rain. Ra wind gusts up near 39 to 73 miles per hour. And again, a brief tornado. We can't completely rule that out. And those rip currents are definitely going to be an issue uh, for the next couple of days.